Body cam footage shows police questioning Bryant University's basketball coach in connection to a hit and run in North Smithfield. The footage shows the moments coach Jared Grasso learned he'd be charged with leaving the scene. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera joins us live in studio now with the breakdown. Adriana. Well, Shannon, in this video, we can see damage to the right side of Grosso's car. The paint is scratched and a part of a door handle is missing. But he tells the officer he was the victim, saying his car was hit while parked outside of a restaurant. I'm here regarding uh, body cam footage from the North Smithfield Police Department showing an officer's exchanges with Bryant men's basketball coach Jared Grosso. It's all part of an investigation connected to a hit and run on Route 146 from October 1st. Grosso was charged with leaving the scene of an accident resulting in damage to a car. Yeah, we found this at Blackie's yesterday. I don't know what happened. I came out to my car and this is what it looked like. Who drove it there? I drove it there. The officer then tells Grosso someone identified his plates in connection with the Route 146 crash. Grosso interrupting the officer multiple times. But if, if someone's targeting me or doing something to my car in the parking lot of an establishment, like I've been followed a lot the last couple of days. Okay. Uh, After the officer repeatedly tries to explain yeah, the next steps. If it was a hit and run, I wanted to know where it was. Yes, and, yes, you can you know, go down to the North Smithfield Police wait, Department. Wait, you're in my house. Wait, wait, wait. Now, now this is getting a little different. Grosso demanding the body cam footage. You can go put a request in. I mean, I, I don't I do mean, the, I don't, I don't get the copies of my things. My lawyers are pretty, uh, oh, that's fine. pretty strong. That's fine. You know this just got bad, right? Grosso's wife later asks him to go inside. Grosso later returning and denying he drove the damaged car at all on the day of the hit and run. That's not what you told me when I first talked to you. You, you told me you were driving this car. I was driving that car. Now, the university says Grosso is still on leave of absence and they continue an external investigation. A message to Grosso's attorney was not immediately released. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News. We've also obtained body cam footage from North Smithfield Police showing the moment Bryant University's basketball coach learned he was facing a hit and run charge. My legal counsel said not to go to the police. I asked if I should go to the police multiple times and was told not to. Police showed up at the coach's house as part of the investigation. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera went through that footage and she joins us now live in studio with what she's learned. Adriana? Well, Shannon, police blurred his face in the video, but Coach Grosso identifies himself as Bryant's coach. We see him deny having been involved in the hit and run crash, telling the officer his car sustained damage while parked outside a local restaurant. My name is Jared Gross. I'm the basketball coach at Bryant. Body Valley. cam footage from the North Smithfield Police Department showing an officer's exchanges with Bryant men's basketball coach Jared Grosso. It's all part of an investigation connected to a hit and run on Route 146 from October 1st. The officer visiting Grosso's home and finding scuffed paint and a missing door handle on the side of the coach's car. Yeah, we found this at Blackie's yesterday. I don't know what happened. I came out to my car and this is what it looked like. Who drove it there? I drove it there. The officer then tells Grosso someone identified his plates in connection with the Route 146 crash. You're going to be charged with leaving the scene of an accident okay. to an attendant vehicle. Grosso interrupting the officer multiple times, saying he's being attacked. But I think not, by, not, not by you, yeah. but by a situation. I've been followed a lot the last couple days. Grosso demanding the body cam footage. The My lawyers are pretty... Uh, Oh, that's fine. Pretty strong. That's fine. You know, this just got bad, right? Grosso's wife later appearing with the coach, questioning her about the alleged restaurant incident. Did you show up at Blackie's yesterday? Yes. Were you the one who told me my car looked like that? Yes. You didn't obviously plan that conversation. That would be hard to plan. No, that's fine. Grosso later denying he drove the damaged car at all on the day of the hit and run. That's not what you told me when I first talked to you. You, you told me you were driving this car. I was driving that car. Now, the university says Grosso is still on a leave of absence and they continue an external investigation. A message to Grosso's attorney was not immediately returned. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.